What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, as you can see, we're on the boat, <clears throat> we're out on the lake, and um, I wanna take a couple minutes to talk to you guys about something that I think is really overlooked when it comes to fishing, and it's sunglasses. Sunglasses can be vital when it comes to fishing. Sunglasses are gonna help you see things that you wouldn't be able to see without them. Polarized sunglasses are what you need out on the water. And my recommendation for you guys is water lens sunglasses. And the reason I say that sunglasses are really overlooked is because there's times where you need to see the grass line. There's times where you need to see that brush pile. There's times where you need to actually see the fish. We got spawning season coming up in a lot of parts of the country. There's actually places right now in Florida that are actually having the spawn go on right now. And that's one of the times where if you don't have a good pair of sunglasses and you aren't able to see in the water and see those fish, you're gonna get beat. Um, I've tried fishing offshore, not because of a sunglass issue, but because I didn't wanna try to do the bed fishing thing with everybody else and I got demolished. You, if, if the spawn is on and you're fishing a tournament, you gotta have good sunglasses. You gotta be fishing for those fish and water lens sunglasses are gonna be a great, great pair of sunglasses for you. When you buy a pair of water lens, they're gonna come in a safe case like this. Then it's gonna be inside of a cloth little bag like this. And then there's actually a lens cleaning cloth in there as well. And when it comes to sunglasses, having good sunglasses when, it's on, when you're on the water makes a long day on the water a whole lot easier because I've been out there, haven't been wearing a good pair of sunglasses and by the end of the day, my eyes hurt, they're watering. Um, it's just, it's not fun anymore. And I learned over time that getting a good pair of sunglasses makes that go away. It makes it so you can fish all day, your eyes aren't all strained at the end of the day and you're, you're able to see more. When, when you have a good pair of sunglasses, you're able to see those brush lines. You're able to see that mud line. You're able to see the grass line. You're able to see dark spots, which could be grass depending on what kind of areas you are. And that's where the fish live. They live on those grass lines. They live in those brush piles. And when you're fishing shallow, you gotta have a good pair of sunglasses in order to see that kind of stuff. Because if you don't, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage. Waterland has you covered with different frame styles, different lens colors. They have the Millikan frame styles, they have the Haskett frame styles, they have the Ashore frame styles, and then they have the Hybro frame styles. My favorite pair to wear pair to wear off the water is the Hybro. I feel like it fits my face really well, and they're really stylish. This is the Hybro pair right here. These are my off the water pair. I've obviously worn them on the water, really like them on the water too, but when it comes to being on the water, I like to wear the Ashore models. And the reason why I like to wear the Ashore models is because it has this full frame on the side and it's gonna keep a little bit more light from coming in on the sides of your sides of your face. So that's why I like this pair of sunglasses on the water because it has this little bit wider frame right here and then it's gonna have this full side panel as well. And I feel like that's good on the water and when I'm off the water, I get this hair, it's a little bit more trendy, stuff like that, to me and, and my style, and that's what I like to wear off the water. Now, when you go on the website, go to waterlinkcode.com, you can use my code LUNA10, it's gonna save you money on a pair of sunglasses or anything for that matter on their website, because they have like the awesome sweatshirt like I have on right now, the hat, they have dry bags like this one. It's, this one's dirty because it's in my boat, but these dry bags are awesome. Inside of this, I have a jumper box in case my cranking battery goes dead or something like that. I can jump my boat, get back going. And I actually had to lend this out to somebody the other day. We were, I was pulling up to El Cap, it's a local lake for me. And there was a guy in the parking lot, his cranking battery had died and I guess he had enough juice to trim his motor down, but he couldn't trim it back up. So I was able to take out my Waterland dry bag, get the jumper box out of here give it to him and he's able to tr trim his motor back up he went to go buy a new battery was out on the water a little bit later on in the day and the reason why i like to put it in the dry bag is because it's going to keep it dry obviously because you never know if you're out fishing in the rain or there's a lot of waves and you take some water over the boat things just 
can get wet inside the boat obviously and I don't want this thing to get wet because I'm counting on it to get me out of a jam because I've been in situations where my cranking battery went dead and I ended up having to rely on somebody else with their jumper box and you know being able to put it in this dry bag is really beneficial because I know that it's not going to be wet it's not going to get damaged from being wet and these are just a great thing to have in your boat um, for your cell phone or anything else like that that you need to have inside the boat with you while you're fishing now in addition to the four frame styles that waterland has they have three different lens colors they have a blue lens like this one they have a silver lens like these ones and then i believe i have the green on right now which i do these are the green ashores and i've also been seeing some questions from people asking if i could only buy one pair of sunglasses what color lenses should i get and i think the best all around lens color would be the green it's gonna be the highest contrasting lens which is gonna basically make your greens more green it's gonna make your whites more white your blacks more black you're gonna be able to see into the water really really well and then the blues and the silvers are gonna be the different color lenses that are gonna be complementary to that I think that if you're gonna go with one pair of sunglasses get the ones that are gonna give you the most contrast the high contrast lenses so that way you can see in detail as much as you can in the water so another time when sunglasses are definitely going to come into play is sight fishing the spawn is just around the corner and so another time when sunglasses are super important is the spawn sight fishing people that are going out and catching fish off the spawning beds you have to have a good pair of sunglasses. If you don't have a good pair of sunglasses and you're trying to go out and you're trying to bed fish, you're not gonna catch all the fish that you should be able to catch. Um, I've fished tournaments where I wasn't bed fishing during that major spawn time and I got my butt kicked. If you're fishing a tournament and those fish are spawning and there's a lot of them up on beds, you pretty much have to be bed fishing in order to compete. Um, there's different times of the spawn where you might be able to compete by not bed fishing, but when it's full on spawn time, you better have a good pair of sunglasses and you better be bed fishing. Those green lenses, for example, are going to make those beds more vibrant. You're gonna be able to go down the bank and you're gonna see those spawning beds. You're gonna see that white spawning bed or that black spawning bed. You're gonna be able to see that circle. You're gonna be able to see fish on those beds from time to time if you're able to get close enough if you have enough water clarity you're going to be able to see those fish you're going to be able to see your lure when you pitch it in on top of that bed you're going to be able to see the fish react all those factors are really important when it comes to bed fishing and if you're fishing a tournament and those fish are on beds you need to be able to do that you need to be able to see what's going on you need to be able to see if that fish is reacting to that white bait that you're pitching in there maybe you need to throw a pink bait maybe you need to throw a black bait maybe you need to throw a green pumpkin bait it just depends all those different colors are going to start to irritate that fish it's going to really get them fired up because they don't want that on their bed and you need to be able to see all those reactions from the fish so that way you're being as effective you know if you need to leave that fish you know if you think that fish is about to bite and a good pair of sunglasses like water lens are going to help you do that we all want to look good on the water off the water and we need to find a pair of sunglasses that's going to help us do that we all have different shaped heads some of us have more narrow some of us have wider you know all that kind of stuff so figure out the measurements on your face because that's going to help you know which one to buy when it comes to buying online those measurements the different frame widths those are things to pay attention to when it comes to buying a pair of sunglasses online it can definitely be done because i've seen people not wanting to buy a pair of water lens because they can't try them on in the store or anything like that you just need to basically take a pair of sunglasses that you like measure it out figure out what the measurements are and then find the pair of water lens that are going to complement that pair that you already wear that you already like that you already feel fit well go check them out waterlandco.com use my discount code luna10 it's going to save you money you're going to be able to get great apparel you're going to be able to get the great dry bags that i was talking to you guys about 
and obviously you're gonna be able to get great sunglasses, and then you can also pair it with an awesome stylish hat. Waterlingco.com, use my discount code LUNA10. It's gonna save you money, it's gonna help me out, and you're gonna get awesome sunglasses that are help you catch more fish, and then you're gonna be able to look good while you're doing it. If you guys know me, you know I'm not pushing stuff that I don't use myself, that I don't actually like, and that I don't actually enjoy using. So I hope that, you know, even though I am pushing this product, I am pushing Waterland, I hope you guys trust me when I tell you that you're gonna get a good pair of sunglasses, you're gonna get good apparel, you're gonna get good products from Waterland. And just remember that discount code LUNA10 is gonna save you money. And if you're also going to Six Cents already to buy some tackle, you can use my discount code LUNA10 and also get a pair of Waterlands on the Six Cents site. So either place, sixcentsfishing.com, waterlandcode.com, use my code LUNA10 at either one of those sites. Pick yourself up a pair of sunglasses. If you wanna get some of the apparel, then you need to go over to waterlandcode.com and you'll be able to get some apparel and some hats, the dry bag, stuff like that from the Waterland website. But I hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit about sunglasses, how it can benefit your fishing, and how I really think that it's one of the underutilized, overlooked aspects to bass fishing. So go check out Waterland, waterlandco.com. Use my discount code LUNA10. Again, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video, and I will see you guys next time. See ya. Mm.